there are some machines that even with a pretty substantial load, they may still run 15 to 20 degrees of discharge superheat depending on how well they're tuned. And you won't see a whole lot of shift in, this, in that superheat from low load to high load. That just comes back to that machine, how well it was installed, how well it's configured, and, and just its operating conditions at the time. So if, if everything's jiving, like that, just because you've got a full load, but you're running a lower discharge superheat, say 15, for example, doesn't mean you've got a problem. Okay. But it, it would definitely tell me that if I'm on the low end of the load, but I'm still having a high discharge superheat, that would make me want to ask questions. I, I hope that makes sense. You know, this is where, this is where we have to apply our human logic and our understanding and experience of these things uh, because the, the circumstances are, are very dynamic in what could or couldn't be, okay?